any second. It's live on air. Uh, you liar. Yeah. Oh, we're live. We are Hello? live. Yeah. Now, wait, let's Did let's you see tweet? if your site is, is like. Did you tweet? To... Did anyone tweet? Someone tweet. Someone tweet. I tweeted, and I'll retweet it, and then we can go live. I mean, we are live. No, but like no one's here because no one tweeted. This is like a tree falling in the forest. What's the question? I need to bring out. Can you tweet, please, Mister Mister Two Hundred Thousand Followers? I heard why? they're mostly bots. Why so. is it not working? They're all Russian bots. Uh, <sighs> it is not working. I can't What's click on it. It's not working. I'm clicking on the thing on the live ASV net. It's not going to YouTube, mm. and like play doesn't work. Like it, this, this is totally um, not working. Maybe you should talk to who runs that website. Not like it's embedded. It's it's. Oh, uh, I just clicked on it. It does nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to turn, turn off ad blocking. Oh, that's what happened. This, no, that's what I happened. Don't have ad blocking. It's, no. not, it's, not, it's not that. No. What it is, is it's a picture. He has messed up the... the um, he, embed he, link? He, embed, he did the embed wrong. Yeah, I'm right here. No, what? It's, it's, it's that guy, the other guy on the call with us. He med, did the embed wrong. The embed looks... I mean, the link looks fine. I'm looking at it in the admin screen. No. Oh. It's not correct. It's an image. <laughs> it's an image. Yeah, I'm, I'm seriously right saying. click on it. It says open image in new tab. Oh dear. Oh we should probably dear. talk to the other guy on the call with us. Can you get the other link, John? Who is the other guy on the call? <laughs> John. Sorry. John. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Sorry. Links. Oh, so I don't do the I do I have to click the one out of the embed, don't I? No, no. It? You t you pull the one outside of the inside of the embed. Outside of the iframe. You'll get an iframe snippet and you take the URL outside of that. Yeah, uh, and you paste that in. You can't paste. I think the, that's what I did. No, you pasted the whole embed into the. No, I I did. I edited it in uh, what's it called? In my. And we're here. Like I, I'm in the chat. I can I can see people. I actually figured I just pasted it into my browser and did like four clicks, and I finally got the thing up. And then yeah. so it's just it's not looking confused. That's not right. It's Forty eight people watching us. Give us the give us the link. It's it's the YouTube embed. Yeah. All right, no, I will give you the I link. I don't believe you, John Galloway. <laughs> you know what? I, I hate to... this. He called it untitled. Yeah, why is it called untitled episode? So weird. <laughs> Bill, it's a it's a mystery. I've just given you the uh, the embed that I got out John of it. John Galloway is trouble. Did you get an embed snippet? You Who, who's have, editing like, it? Am I frame. editing it? Here, I have it up I'm, there. I'll let do me, it myself. Let me, I'm taking I'm over. pasting it to you in the, no. in the chat. Useless. Useless. Maybe they okay, changed so it. Explain to me. Maybe um, maybe I, iTunes or whatever this is changed it. So oh I does it do you see anything obvious I did wrong there? No, I don't. Uh, I still think it's your fault, but there's nothing <laughs> clear that you did wrong here. Did they change something? Well, it looks like a freaking image, and I don't see any errors in F12 tools. <laughs> Outstanding. I'm looking. I'm trying to find. Maybe Can we, we live to debug the site? The maybe thing. we have to update the site. I don't know. Okay, what so they... check this out. I think yeah. they changed the embed code because live it's broken on uh, on Firefox. It is an image. That's absolutely right. Like it's rendering as an image now. It's rendering as an image. Embed responsive, embed responsive, hangout embed. That's my code. Can you we guys have... just both repeat that I did it right? Is that is that cool? If you do... who, who is that? Someone keeps speaking. Is there someone else on the call? What? <laughs> <laughs> Data iframe. Then it, this is so weird. Is Alt on? play video. What is source, happening? Data image, and it's an image tag now. Why is it an image tag? <clears throat> so wait a second. It showed up. Oh, John, is it is embedding enabled? Uh... Yeah. Did you tick the enable embed when you created the call? I've never had to do that before. Uh, really? Edit. Yeah. What's happening? I don't know. It's like everyone's image. like everyone on the thing is like it's no one's image. watching. No one's watching. What's happening? It's okay. No, there's 50 people watching. You know, I talked to some people at the conference, and they're like, "You guys are so funny with that. Like, we watch it after. We watch it three days later. Fast forward. And the first five minutes is you guys asking if anyone's watching." Uh, in this case, did anyone yeah, allow that? embedding was checked. What, what like, in the natural heck? Like I'm on the YouTube page and I can't embed. 
I am no embed thing there. Trying to embed it anywhere. Yes, you hit the sharing button that points off to the right. Oh, share. There it is. Embed. Yeah. See, that's okay. That's okay, interesting. So hang on a second. If you go and look yeah. on live.asp.net, yes. there's that's a PNG yes. embedded okay. as a data yes. attribute. Yes. But it's in an image tag, according to the browser tools. Right. And, and the irony of this, may I point out yeah. to the audience? Yes. You gave us crap about view state. Who did? I didn't. You, the people. I did. I loved View State. I'm just saying that you all, <laughs> people watching the show, are like, yes. Microsoft sucks. View State. Google outputs a PNG yes. in a data element and base That's 64s okay. it, That's and okay. everybody thinks that it's it doesn't get round champagne. Trip, it doesn't get round trip. That's not like View State. It's not champagne. <laughs> I love this. This is, this is so meta. Like, okay, here's the, here's the problem. Here's the problem. What is it? What is it? What is it? Is it the wrong URL? No, look. What? It's an. It's. What? It's expanded. This is you. Yes. I Where that's me. It's been a long I'm time confused. since I wrote this code. When I hit view source, this is this is my ignorance speaking. Is what? this hmm? Hmm? what is this um. The rep is this representative of the DOM? In its current state, or the source that was sent across the wire. The source. And the Why DOM did looks, you? The DOM send looks an like image. that too. Huh? Did you send an image? Where's the div? I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking at the source code of the site because I don't remember. See what I'm saying? It. You are. Who made this PNG? I'm looking. Oh, I didn't make it. I don't think so. I'm looking. See, look, that PNG. I know. Is the <laughs> basic know, version of that. It could well be. It's completely my fault. I've just forgotten. And I, I just said people told me you. that. Are, our last one was hey, look. Was this like works really though. good, and then now this is probably going to be like this is the worst show ever. That's why it's untitled. <laughs> no, this is unquestionably <laughs> this is the worst, oh, worst show. So How do good. I do view source? Now here I've pasted. Look at this. This is definitely Damien now. I've pasted. Yeah. What the embed directly that. here? That's what I did. And I'm seeing it correct. How do I view source the result of the paste? What? Huh? What are you talking about? I want to see the source of this page. I guess really? I have to. So I, I definitely have an image. I'm looking at it right now. I understand. I'm looking at the live show we partial. Can't start the show until this is. I'm looking out. at it. It says is live show embedded. It says embedded. Okay, there's the result. Okay, look, the show here. has started. And this we are is the iframe. Here's the iframe. Okay. This, this is the snippet that YouTube gives you when they say this is how you do embed. This is where right. this came from. This right? is the that's that's the that's what YouTube generates when you hand it to them. Okay. Okay. So here's the YouTube. Now we have I don't, 58 viewers. I don't see. What? See, look at that. This is all correct. Am I missing something that this should be showing the PNG? Who generated that PNG? Uh, no, man. I'm looking at it. Oh, no, it's in the source of my site. You know why? You did this. Years ago. Like literally three years ago. Jack this, Hughes. This code has not changed. Wait a second. Years. So when I was crapping on Google, Damn. it's you, Damien Edwards, who decided that a base 64 encoded PNG was appropriate? Because that's what the snippet is. But hang yeah, on, though. I who swaps the... This is the I'm, code that we put I'm, into the... This code here, that's what mm -hmm. we put into the admin, right? Yes, exactly. That's, I'm looking at and the And then you swap the it out. No, no. I, who swaps it out? How does it get out of data dash iframe? This is... I have no idea. Maybe I do. Maybe I wrote JavaScript. I just completely forget. I have no idea. I okay, the, the issue is that it's not swapping out data dash iframe. So somewhere is that. <laughs> I, I, really can't can't that. This I wrote this so long ago. I have no idea how this works. So yes, <laughs> there is source in the razor. That all that all the stuff you're looking at is in the razor. Embed responsive item, data iframe. Show me show, show your screen because I want to know who swaps out the iframe. I oh I don't know. I'm looking. I have no Do idea. Do I have access to this site? Yeah, it's just at ASP.net slash live at ASP.net. Yeah, views, go to live show partial. That that data PNG is in there, right? That's all that's in there. I, all I it apologize does. to on behalf of Microsoft to Google for Damien's <laughs> PNG. Hey, it's early days. Oh, the PNG is fine. Nothing wrong with PNG. Oh, look, look. Here's my JavaScript that changes out the iframe. Where is it? <laughs> in home.js. I didn't see a home.js. Well, there is. It probably gets compiled down into site.js and embedded at the top of the page or the bottom of the page. No, I don't see that. 
Well, there's no dot js. Well, no, there won't be because I embed it. I inline it. You don't, and it's minified. Yeah, it's not here anymore. What do you mean it's not there anymore? I'm looking at the source, and I don't think that that's true anymore. What are you looking for in order to determine? I am that looking that's in the source of your of our homepage. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for, for? For your minified anything. I see no, your no, style no. sheet. It, it gets in. Go to the bottom of the page. It, yeah. it wouldn't be the first time that it's it's, it's been removed. Okay. Okay. I just All want to be sure to it's, not my, it's not my it's fault. It's not there, dude. It? it wouldn't be the first time that for some reason a change yeah, happened and the script isn't there. There's jQuery, but the script is gone. Yeah, looks like it. Not to mention that it's copyright 2015. Yeah, well, that's when it was made. Which I think is the worst, you know, the worst transgression. <laughs> um... So you're saying um, that the thing that should have swapped it out um, should be copyright system. Js home. Js. Damien thought it was okay to do this. What I thought it was okay to do what this bit of code. So I actually like there are two contributors to this. I did the original one, and I'm trying to. I'm doing a blame right now to figure out exactly who wrote oh, what line. Oh, that's easily. Let's I go did, Okay, it's person. not my fault. It's not my fault. Look at it. Well, you did it right here. Fault. It's your fault. fault. October fourth. Go to blame. Don't go to, don't go to history. Go to blame. Go back to that file. Are we blaming on home or the JavaScript? Go back to the JavaScript file. Okay. What if that person is listening and they're upset? They probably are. I mean, was this a cookie compliance thing from years yeah, ago? Yeah, two months oh, ago. Oh. How could it have ever? How could it have ever worked though? Do you blame. Yeah. Cookie compliance. I didn't. That's why I had no idea what this code is. So Samir broke it. Possibly. How could it have so, ever worked? Have we not had a well, show? Too much? You know why? You know why? Because the cookie compliance stuff wasn't turned on. It's all controlled globally. Yeah. And it may have been uh, turned on without me knowing. The code's been deployed forever, but it was, was not doing anything because it doesn't do anything until someone flips a switch somewhere. Oh, hang on a second. This data frame is Shamir, not you? Look, I mean, look at it. I don't know. I would have to go back to the full history oh, and have a I look. see. So he's not going to even hook that up, though. You have to click on the image to swap it out. I, I, maybe. I don't and know. What is it doing? Oh, it oh, 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 I've had to deal with this on, on, my, on my site. So the problem is YouTube embed writes a cookie. That's right. And so you've got to, we have to show images and you click and swap the iframe. Right. Okay. Well, correct. so the name of his image is image, data, image with a data frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is what and, we have. It's yeah, an exactly. image tag that contains that attribute. So that's correct. He's finding those, and then he's hook, hooking up. Get an on-click. If type is undefined, yep. Then he it calls. I'm not consent. seeing it pop anything. No, it, it doesn't. Doesn't pop anything. It it replaces an iframe. No, but the set the set it's consent sets a local cookie. That's all it does. Oh yeah, yeah. What'd you say? So if you calling set consent, simply clicking on it is the consent. Right, yeah. and so yep. as soon as you click on anything that is deemed in, hmm, what happened there? I don't know. It said booted session the... terminated due to something. I I booted you. Is that what it no, was? No, I'm kidding. I, I don't know what it was. Okay. Okay. Scott, like, what happened? I think that I'm not allowed to be on a Hangout and debug stuff at the same time. <laughs> or Google caught me thinking poorly of them. Oh, that's so funny. This is great. We have 68 viewers, though, by the way. This is all good stuff. So hang on viewers now. watching us rediscover this card, which we never knew in the first but, place. But the, okay, so here's the thing I'm seeing, though. Yeah. There, there's two issues here. There's the code. The JavaScript never came down. Like, this... This new cookie compliance stuff, right, right. It doesn't even like get bundled up, so you can blame him all you want. Maybe. How did the build not bring it in? Where is it? So back up for a bit. Home.js is part of what? I assume it's inside Just, of you know, master. Search so the repo for home.js, and you'll see that it's referenced in like the gulp file and all that type of stuff, obviously, because that's where it is. And there's a script reference for it, and it only renders if model.next show scheduled is true. Ooh, okay. Hang on. So he, he may have put that code in there, Look not realizing this. that that Here's file doesn't always get rendered. So next Tuesday. Yes. That, oh, you know why? Because, John, you cleared the date. 
John, Ha-ha. you told me to clear the day. Yeah, but I didn't know he'd added this logic that makes the face <laughs> makes it conditional. What's wrong with you, John Galloway? Fortunately, I have it recorded. <laughs> a recording of you saying, "Just clear out the date." What's I just I just updated it. I just I, hit save. I've just updated. It was all me. You had no one. I did it as well. I did it first. Look, it works now. You click, it works. Look, there you go. We, we figured it out. That was the There's issue. a console error though. So that's a little depressing. This is wonderful though. It's, it's an an console error. Get attribute type error cannot read a property get attribute of null. There it so is. There's, there's bugs in object on the set next show details. Here you go. Um, Lines. There it is. Get attribute data, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all minified. And shit, it's so. it's going looking for date stuff or something. So the problem yeah. here is that I super optimized the site, right? So when I built the site originally, I don't render anything that's not required based on the state of the data in the Micro site. optimizations. And so when we came through and did the sweeping changes for the cookie compliance stuff, like obviously some of that stuff wasn't obvious. And so you can get into these weird states as we just found that if you don't schedule the next show, I don't render the home screen JavaScript because you don't need the countdown. So why would you? Except that we're now relying that for the live show, which we didn't before. The live show just used to be embedded directly. There was no JavaScript interaction at all. So yay for debugging live with right. three people. I'm taking full credit <laughs> for that. Wonderful. That was ridiculous. But we fixed it. We didn't give it up. Didn't if next yeah. show schedule, you don't bring in any JavaScript. Because they never needed it. I mean, the only Even if it's a live show, though. It doesn't need it. You're saying here in admin, he set that, but there, how we, there always has to be a next show. So then the error is now in admin, which should never allow you to not have another show schedule. No, no, no. The, the error now is in the, the script rendering. Like the, the reality is that you now need the script whether if there's a next show scheduled or you're currently watching a live show. If, if, if you're looking at the homepage and there's no live show and no next show, you don't need... The is there a show? Is there a show in in yes happening currently? Yes, there is. So model, the model is, is home view model. It's on the home view model. Okay, you probably share your screen if you're looking. I'm at sharing yeah. the screen again. Like no one, <laughs> no one knows what you're looking. Everyone's at. loving it. Here's home view model. Currently watching a show. Is there a show happening right now? Live show embed. See the so is live what, show embedded. Is live show embedded? If that one that, is, set. yeah. So that means that you have or is on air. It's actually well, but which is even which is even more of an issue because you could also have live show HTML. So then this needs to be. This is if live show is Go embedded. I could also be using. 17. Go to live seventeen. Seventeen. Is that on is air. That, yes, it takes that into consideration. Uh, uh, so if you're on air, hmm. which means you either have live show uh, embed or live show HTML, you're currently watching a show. Then it turns out you're going to need the script now. That is scandalous. It's what happens when you over optimize a home page. <laughs> <laughs> I, appreciate, I appreciate I appreciate that you're saying over optimize. Well, I mean, it, sure, but it's yeah. I mean, but but this stuff, this caused a bunch of havoc for me with all the cookies that are written out by any kind of embed. Yeah. It's a pain in the in the neck. You gotta write out images and then do a swap and blah yep. blah blah. Yeah. How do I so. it says I'm presenting to everyone? How do I not do that? How you, do you not what? you ask me politely. Because John Stop. is the cameraman. So Undo my it? camera. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Yes. Did, you, you, tweet? My... Did you tweet that we're on? <laughs> no, I have not actually... tweeted any of that. I mean, we're we, we have 77 viewers. All right. I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> let's Seriously, continue. Well, I have a meeting in like 15 minutes. Well, then let's right, do well, something of value for 15 minutes. I thought me, that was valuable. Some, I thought that uh, was the best with, show you know, ever. I wanted to talk about of all shows. I want to talk about some other stuff. That's all right. John, do you have any community? Do you love community this week, John? I do love community. Okay. Uh, yeah. Make do sure I, when you share your screen, you do present to everyone and all that. I actually remembered this time. Yes. So uh, hopefully, I remember to include the date for the future, John. <sighs> don't don't quiz me too hard because it's been like an hour <laughs> since I like you know was studied up. Okay. First of all, Jeff Fritz, modern configuration builders for ASP.NET. 471 with configuration builders. So this is very cool. The idea here is that you can use configuration builders pulled in via a NuGet package that tell you where to pull configuration values from. Um, so you could say, get them from an, uh, wherever, a, a, a XML file, a service, key vault, whatever it is. So he walks, he walks through how to do that. And it would be interesting if someone used something like configuration builders to actually Add Docker to Nerd Dinner, and that's what Shane Boyer did. So he, it's Shane Boyer, and I, I believe I wasn't, well, so Shane Boyer went through and wanted to migrate Nerd Dinner without any code changes, without going through and, and doing it. And so he walks through everything that he did as far as, you know, um, migration. Genius. 
Yes, very cool. So, so explaining how we did it with the Docker file setup, um, database migration, everything. So I'm a little um, offended though that Nerd Dinner is a legacy application. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel legacy. Nerds don't eat dinner in uh, together anymore. No, it's meetups now. Everyone has coffee and snacks. Yeah. So he, uh, so Shane calls out configuration builders, ex explains that, talks about how he set things up with Docker, um, all this stuff. So very, very nice thorough walkthrough. Uh, so good job. Hisham with two um, on JSON localization configuration. So making a uh, request culture provider. Um, in this one, so basically, um, you know, pulling in uh, localization culture uh, from JSON files, explaining um, how he did that, and then he continues in into that in more detail with localization resources pulled from JSON as well. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. Can so very cool. Down? Yeah. Scroll down. I just want to have a quick look at this code. So this is literally storing the resources themselves in JSON files. So he must have invented a schema to do so. Let's see there that. Yeah. Hello, bonjour. So it's key. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, very cool. Yep. So neat. Um, speaking of localization, I, I hope someone appreciates the smooth flow that I've built here. Uh, Damian Bowden talking about uh, identity server for localization with OIDC implicit flow. So he's talking about in uh, Angular. So he's updated his um, his sample here, and he's showing how to localize that. So cool. There's a ton of code here. This is this is a very um, in-depth one. Okay, so Matt Christensen uh, announced uh, Mini Blog Core. Uh, so this is a new blog engine. It's one of the specific focuses he really looked into here was highly uh, like optimized for web technology. So he explains in here some of the things he did: um, web fonts, image optimization with his uh, Azure Image Optimizer, etc. So. This is good both for if you're looking for a blog and then also just looking at what he's done as far as satisfying the requirements. Here he calls out his web developer checklist. Um, so just talking about you know how to make sure that this is taking advantage of all the latest browser technologies. So cool. Steve Sanderson, uh, he just blogged about updating Blazor. So Blazor is the WebAssembly um, a thing for running .NET in the in the browser, and so here he talked about how it's been moved over from .NET Anywhere to run with Mono in the browser. Um, I had a play with this the other day. It it was some of the earlier builds were a little bit tougher to get running for me. Um, this was just boom, boom, boom. It, it worked right out of the out of the gate, and it was really um, so. This is interesting where he explains it. Um, some of the limitations that were hit with .NET Anywhere, including being kind of old and, and not maintained, so not up to date with the latest uh, .NET you know, features, uh, but also some of the missing features that were required from the hackathon. Uh, he does call out that it is bigger. Um, so whereas the old one was 300 some kilobytes, this is now four megabytes, but this is before optimization. So. Anyhow, he links in there to the repo. Very quick to get started with that. Uh, Mohammed Rehan Saheed, he's talking about ASP.NET Core caching in practice. So um, this is cool, talking about some of those headers that people don't dig into very often. So things like cache control header. He talks about e-tag and how to set e-tags, um, uh, more stuff with cache control. So this is this is a very good kind of in in um, depth. Nice, good. Yeah, this these headers. Um, if if you it's possible if you set one it's not taken it's not honored unless you set another that kind of thing it's it's kind of difficult to get these right so it's nice to to have this kind of written out in detail with some code there and my last one uh, this is from Matthew and he talked about something that they've been using on Winton Technology um, at their company um, this is an SEO NuGet package so the idea is. In order to SEO optimize a site, you need to have sitemap, robots text. Um, you, you need to kind of have the proper files in order to make sure that your site is being indexed the way you want it to. Um, so he has kind of, um, they've set up a, a solution. They've been um, using it internally for a while, and so now they're re releasing it as a, as a NuGet package. Um, so th this is pretty cool. This is going through, and, and it's using ASP.NET Core internals to do things like discover the pages and that kind of stuff. 
Um, so here's the site out on, or here's the code out on GitHub. And he talks about in more detail about how it's configured, um, you know, kind of the minimal setup, and then you can go in and tweak things like priority in your sitemap. That so, is pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. I, I like this that they, you know, we went through, they used it in production. They've, they've, this is tested, and then they're like, hey, they're, we're ready to share this with you. So. Can I give you one other thing to look at? Sure. Go to that link in the chat. Uh, okay. I did a YouTube a couple weeks ago. I don't know if a couple people saw it. It's on my YouTube under videos, which was me and Mark Downey trying to move .NET, um, move DOS blog, the blog engine that we run, to .NET Core with .NET Standard. Can you sh do that for me? Old. So check this out. So he forked DOS blog. Now go to DOS blog dash core. People should go there and give him a star. So this is really interesting. If you go under source, you might be interested in this, Damien. I think I talked to you about this a little bit. Sorry, I'm busy trolling people in the chat. OK, all of the stuff that says Nutelligence dot is 14, 15 year old code running under .NET standard. Wow. Then dosblog.web.ui and .core are the new things that sit on top of the existing dosblog runtime. And he swapped out the templating and replaced it with Razor. But 85, 90% of the stuff just works. Isn't that cool? That's very That's cool. Impressive. So he's got it running, and uh, we're poking around. So go and give him a star. And then if you want to see us try to get it working and stuff, go check out. Um, uh, he just kind of threw it up there. But if you my, on my yeah, YouTube, cool, yeah. on my YouTube, um, he, he think he forked it a couple of days ago. Um, okay. Yeah, so you can go and see the process. So uh, if you go change it to just DOS blog rather than DOS blog dash core, he made a new a new repository. And we're looking for help. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, go take a look at that one. Hit commits on that one. See how he says he's yeah, behind right. master. There you go. So what he did is this is him kind of like moving stuff out. And then he and I are going back and forth. We've been working on this for a while. Like DOS blog is still being actively worked on. He's added reCAPTCHA and he's added SEO and all kinds of cool stuff. But I would like to be able to get DOS blog working on .NET Core and I don't want to rewrite the thing from scratch. Mm -hmm. uh, so take, take a look, it's at github.com slash pop a string. Very cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, DOS, .NET standard is no joke. Like the, I'm trying to come up with examples of how cool it is and converting 17 year old code is a pretty good way to do that. Mm -hmm. Cool. Sorry, does, is is Damien not involved <laughs> anymore? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I, I set up. A... <laughs> <laughs> totally not trolling. This is absolutely true. Uh, oh, so someone's adding a real, asking for a real you, question. Damien? We should. Uh, we should actually answer those. I'm um, gonna have to go too, so I'm gonna ah, leave you. So we wasted all the time. Okay, we have to have a show next week because we have to like talk about stuff. So next week is Connect. Ah. Okay. Can you, you do one? Fast. You can, can do Damian one. Well, hang on, though. Who is who is going to be there? Not me. I'm not. Okay. You are, Scott. I will be there, so I won't be here next. <laughs> but nobody oh, likes me. You can't do it without you, Damien. We can we can have the craziest show. We'll bring in like a I don't know somebody to make balloon animals. Um, or whatever. if you want, you know what you can do is call me, and I can like join with my phone and take you on a backstage tour of the rehearsals at Connect. That, that worked out so well last time we tried. Hey, it. man, I got T-Mobile now. <laughs> <laughs> Middlesware. Now I see. <laughs> now you've caught up with my. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's actually. The I, right I love it. I noticed that before. I was going to bug you about there that. There you go. Andre says bring Fowler on as a guest. Do that. I keep asking. He doesn't want to come on. He's bring busy. Like literally, Fowler, he's too busy. Him, like he's bring like, him anyway. Force him. Gotta, like, people want to you know. You could do. Now? You could just move his desk. Do you actually desk. have to go now? Like, do we actually have like two? I, minutes I li you have two minutes. Four minutes. Go so on. I literally okay. have to go to a connect rehearsal in the okay. next few minutes. So roadmap. Um, we've. I've been struggling to put together the roadmap because we've kept, uh, we've been churning on a bunch of decisions and, and changes about when and how we're going to do some certain things. We got some clarity over on that in the last week. So my hope is, and then VS Code put out their roadmap and completely shamed everyone on the planet because their roadmap is amazing. Um, and it doesn't talk about dates. It just says like for 2018, these are the things we care about. And so I was inspired. So I'm going to try and get um, something together at least for ASP.NET Core. We do have some dates floating around now for our plans for the next release, and we'll chat to our boss uh, soon to figure out uh, how he wants us to go about sharing those. But um, at least now we seem to have 
some uh, some momentum behind uh, what shape the next release will have. Patching, someone's asking a question about patching. Patching is coming, so like there will be a patch release uh, shortly. I don't know the exact date, but within the next month or so. Um, and then there's a few fixes uh, in that patch, and we'll continue to do patch releases um, even after we've released two one. Um, as part of the whole LTS and long-term support versus current stuff, which again we're still we're, we're still uh, reviewing that policy for how it applies to two X, but that's all sort of in flux right now. We're still we're still doing that stuff. Um, some of the, the, the I want to go through priorities and stuff at some point. We don't have time now about the the things in two one. We have some very very large items that we're working on that we that are deemed the most important. One of them is what we call inner loop performance. Um, you can simplify that down to sort of build perf. Uh, we know that the .NET Core uh, developer experience right now isn't great. Uh, as soon as you start adding more projects um, or your app gets any anything beyond you know, you know very very simple, um, and even when it is simple, it's still not fast enough. Um, and so we're doing. There's a massive multi-team effort underway uh, to to look at that and to you know, to get improvements. There's already been improvements made. There are improvements made in the 202 SDK. There are improvements in the upcoming SDK release as part of VS 15.5, but they're nowhere near enough. And we're doing some very um, sort of big ticket items to really improve that performance, including work on Razor such that we can do a lot more compilation during build time of your Razor view so that when you're doing like a lot of coding in C-sharp files as a developer and you have to restart the application every time, um, you don't pay a large startup cost because you have to get all the, the compilation infrastructure running in your app to compile Razor before you even see the home page. So we've got a bunch of prototypes around that stuff up right now. That is the highest priority. Um, for the next release, and so that effort is um, using a lot of people, which is good, um, but it is going to p- uh, potentially have us revisit some of our other priorities that we thought we were going to be able to get to for two one. Things like signal are still a very high priority as well, so we don't see any risk to that as yet. Um, and other things that we've talked about so far, HTTP, you know, making HTTPS by default and making it easier, uh, supporting HTTP two. Um, uh, reacting to GDPR and having some things in the framework that make compliance with that a little easier, um, and et cetera, et cetera. Some of the bigger efforts we talked about, like um, more integration of the Open API spec and having that be a default experience in our Web API stack, um, including generation of proxies and those type of things. We're not quite sure where that's going to land yet, whether we get that into one um, or whether we have to rethink some things because of you know, the fact we have the other stuff we have to do first. Um, but I want to talk through all these uh, these things in a little more depth uh, next time, hopefully, and a, a lot of these things will be in the roadmap. Uh, but so, yeah, I just wanted to like let people know that we're working on some big things um, and they're going to take a bit of time for us to, to get right before we uh, can you know start promising when we're going to get a release out. Um, there's also some efforts around um, build from source, which is the ability for anyone in the community to just like grab .NET Core source code and build it, including all of ASP.NET Core and all of its dependencies um, and all the tools that are used to build, like true build from source. Like you can literally go to a repo, run a script, and it builds everything. So um, like that guy, there was a guy on Twitter last week who was like, yeah, Microsoft's not really serious about open source until I can like fork it. They won't sue me. That would mean he could go and fork it, and then we would. That like guy him. really pushed your buttons. Didn't he? <laughs> he would look at him <laughs> threateningly. Really pushed your buttons. It was a dumb thing to say. It was a dumb thing to say. Kind of I mean, I we understand where that attitude comes from, but uh, I mean. But he wasn't I, even I, old I, enough I, to I, like I, care. <laughs> you know what I mean? He wasn't old no, enough to have that level of generational pain. You haven't earned. You haven't earned. He hasn't installed Windows. Windows 90, he hasn't installed yeah. Windows ninety five from floppy. You know, you don't. Get off my right. lawn from a junior high. That's kid. right. Um, but but on that note, there, there's some important discussions we have to have around our strategy as it pertains to open source um, integration and like third party libraries and things like that. We've we've made some realizations recently around some of the challenges in having our stack, like our offering, our product, um, include or depend on uh, third party libraries that we don't have any control over. Um, and so we're, we're going through a process right now of sort of revisiting that and trying to figure out what the right story around that is moving forward. And right now it looks like we might have to do some type of layered approach so that the sort of the support question and those type of things becomes a lot clearer about what we support and what we have best effort for and those type of things. Um, because as we add more interdependencies with the rest of the open source community, um, it becomes harder and harder of, obviously for us to be able to say to an enterprise, yeah, we support everything in the platform even though we don't own like 20% of it. Um, that becomes very difficult and because of the way .NET works. It's not like jQuery when we started this in the late 2000s. Um, we can like worst case, you can just patch jQuery. It's just source files. We can just like update the template and just ignore the the root 
you know, project in the worst case scenario if we have to. We can't do that with .NET because of type safety and identity and new get package IDs and those type of things. Um, so we have to think about it a little bit differently. Um, so yeah, we've got some some stuff we have to work through, and uh, we'll we'll start sharing some of the thoughts and decisions on that shortly. Um, but in the meantime, developers are still doing work. So if you're watching the GitHub repos, you'll see work happening. You'll see fixes going in. There's been some good fixes made based on feedback to 2.0 that have already gone into the active dev branches, and we look forward to getting those um, improvements out to customers as soon as we possibly can. So, okay. cool. Uh, All right. No, it's four thirty-two. Uh, now I gotta go. You can now keep you going, go. but I gotta go. No, that's fine. Well, uh, we've been on the air long enough, and <laughs> I've, I'm all debugged out. Okay. Uh, dramatic zoom out. Dramatic zoom out. Oh wow! Hey, wait, 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 wait. I, before what, you what, do what? that, is this allowed? Yeah. I'm looking at an email. What? That's called inner loop status. Uh oh. Are you gonna With, try and like present that? I don't know. You tell me. Why does it say you are presenting to everyone, but I'm not presenting to anyone? I'm so I locked on you for dramatic zoom out. I'm just looking. It just oh. says, "Here are the slides I presented at Core War." Yeah, no, no. so that was like, they, it's it's not worth even like. Yeah, I mean, there's been some progress made, as I said, but they, they, we have some goals and which are based on some things. <laughs> I'm trying to read them. I don't understand. There's too many bar charts. Yeah, and so like the reality is like we have a long way to go to meet the goals, which is good, which means we've set good goals. Sure, sure, um, sure. We have a good understanding of what we need to do to get there, and we've only really yeah. just started. It's cool though, but it's like it's showing. Dot .NET 2 and then the current build, and it's going yep. down slowly but surely. And it's showing some competitors as well. I won't name them, but we are looking into some competitors. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, things as well. And, and frankly, and some, some of this, but we've only, very, we've only really just started, so we only have some simple scenarios. We expect that once we add more complicated solutions, the differences will become a lot more stark. Um, but as they say here, we like to embrace the red, which means that you need to visualize your problems and make sure that you understand them and like communicate them up the chain so that you can do something about them. So that's right, what we're doing. Right. That's cool. Uh, and we hope, you know, the idea here is now is that 2.1 needs to be like a, oh my God, it's so much faster experience. Like it should be nice. wonderful and beautiful to use. So, all right, I got to go. All right, dramatic zoom out. I pushed the button it's and so it just did its thing. Hands. Oh my God. Oh, it looks finished now. It's good. <laughs>